The PCRF I started back in 1991 um, after coming here uh, as a, a human rights worker and seeing a lot of injured children and kids needing medical care which they could not get within the local health care system. I wanted to contribute in a positive way and I felt by helping kids who needed medical care get medical care for free, um, that was one way to contribute to the Palestinian effort to achieve independence and liberty. Every year there's several hundred kids who are born with uh, a problem that needs to be corrected through open heart surgery. A lot of children were dying from the lack of open heart surgery operations available. They were dying from uh, not being properly diagnosed. And we started uh, trying to intervene on their behalf by sending them outside for treatment and more importantly bringing foreign missions from Europe, from New Zealand, from North America here to treat these kids in local hospitals for free as volunteers. I'm on my way to, to the checkpoint just south of Nablus. From there we're going to travel through Nablus to the other side and then go to the village where we're going to pick up the child who's coming for surgery to the Makassar tomorrow. Jamal, his name is Jamal. Jamal? Yeah, he's a child. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. He's a child. He's a child. He's a child. He's a child. ما بيتعبش كثير هو الطفل يعني بس ايش هيك يعني هي هو اكيد يعني هي لولا الجمعية هي انا ما بقدر اعمل العملية اصلا يعني العملية كثير مكلفة يعني لولا مساعدة الجمعية هي اكيد يعني ما بعرف شو كان وضعنا راح يكون يعني احنا كثير شاكرين لهيك جمعيات The main problem for us because we want to go to work. This is our problem. <laughs> Look.
She's with me. She's with me. Why? Yeah. It's easy to get have one to get it. Yeah. Don't tell me. No one comes This child has to go to Jerusalem for an operation. Shut down the camera down. This is a policeman. Okay, this is a policeman. We are arguing this is the police. Okay? Boy has it. Hello, I'm a nurse from the Makassar Hospital, a volunteer with the Palestinian Children's Relief Fund. And this child has an orga is organised to have an operation tomorrow by a, a, an English surgeon who is leaving on Monday. No, no. If this child doesn't get there... Uh, hello. Maybe you stop, uh, if, if this child doesn't get to Jerusalem to have an operation, he will not have one. Makassar Hospital is the main referral hospital in Palestine and it was established in 1965 as a charitable institution to serve uh, all of the West Bank and uh, Gaza Strip and over the years it's developed into the main Palestinian hospital, uh, most sophisticated hospital for all of the Palestinian territories. We're in the process of uh, establishing the infrastructure in the hospital to have a congenital heart program for Palestinian children. Um, we continue to train people and provide them the means to help their own kids and we've continued to have people come here and play an important role in saving the lives of Palestinian children. Jamal is a nine months old child who has a hole in his heart, what we call a VSD, which is quite big and uh, it needs to be closed. Now, if uh, it's not closed, then uh, with time it might uh, cause him uh, lung problems, chronic lung problems. So it's uh, actually usually these kinds of uh, holes we prefer to, to have them closed surgically before the age of one year. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to close a hole between the two pumping chambers of the heart, what we call a ventricular septal defect. And to do that, we have to use a heart and lung machine to support the circulation, open his heart and put a patch on the hole that is there and then close the heart. Okay. Alistair? Yeah. Okay, stop it. Festinolente, as the Latin people used to say. That is the motto.
see which way we can use the eyes. Challenging exercise. So, <laughs> we're all set now for bypass. Let's just wait till they've circulated. They're not, they're not ready yet. For a moment? No. Okay. Just doing now. It's running now. It's happening now. It'll work. It's just, yeah. Okay. Just, a bit, just, just, just keep it like that. Still running okay? Yeah, it's running fine. What you see here is the wall uh, between Ramallah and, uh, and East Jerusalem. And this wall has had a major impact on not only the access for patients to go and get decent health care at Palestine's best hospital, Makassid, but it's also had a tremendous impact on the medical staff having access to employment at the Makassid Hospital. Um, I know many, many doctors, excellent physicians, some of the best physicians in the country who live on one side of the wall and are employed on the other. And many of them are leaving their jobs inside East Jerusalem because of the difficulty in making this trip every day. Sometimes about the, it depends about the mode of the soldier. If he's not happy, he will tell you, okay, get back. Go to, okay. Okay. go to the line. Even if you tell him that I'm a doctor, I have to go to the hospital in a easy access, he said it's, no, it's forbidden. But you don't think it's unfair that you can you can pass and I, I can't pass and we are working in the same hospital? Yeah, definitely it's unfair. <laughs> because you know, uh, all, all the medical staff should pass easily because they have the humanitarian uh, mission. Yeah. المستقبل اكيد كثير كبير يكون يعني زي اي ام دائما تحلم لابنها انه يوصل لمراتب كثير عاليه يعني 
ان شاء الله يعني بالنهايه يفضل شيء بيد الله بيد الله يعني